Hey, what's up, everybody? It is Thursday on Gender Queer Chat. This week's topic is, are you religious or are your loved ones religious? Does religion play a role, positive or negative, in your relationship with your gender or other people's relationship with your gender? Uh, do you like, bonus question is, do you like animals and what's your idea of a good pet? So, uh, am I religious? No. I am definitely not religious. I am actually very anti-religion. I think it's total crap. Um, are your loved ones religious? I have one very close friend who is religious. She's Catholic. Um, her and I obviously see the world very differently, but we respect each other and we respect each other's right to, you know, be individuals and to experience our beliefs like the way that we do and um it's sort of I think it's good to you know have conversations with people who see the world differently than you because I you know you learn um yeah and uh her relationship with religion does not um like or I mean her religion does not um, interfere with, like, like, she doesn't think that it's wrong for me to be genderqueer. She's actually one of the more, most, if not the most supportive person other than my partner, um, of my gender. Um, she's very, um, you know, she, she's of a belief that everybody's entitled to their own, um, experience, and she would never shove religion, like especially her religion or any religion, down anybody's throat. And it actually really annoys her when other people impose their beliefs on um, anyone else. So if somebody, you know, one of her other religious friends were to say something bad about like gay people or say something bad about genderqueer people or whatever, um, she would actually get really upset, like it really does upset her. Um, and I appreciate that, and I think that that's what religion should be. It should be, um, you know, a personal relationship that somebody, you know, that an individual feels that they have with, you know, whatever God or whatever it is that they believe in. It should be a personal thing. It shouldn't be something that um, anybody imposes on anybody else. Um, so yeah, other people in my life, I think my grandmother, go, I mean, I know she goes to church and she's involved with her church. I haven't really ever talked to her much about religion and I don't know, um, I haven't really talked to her much about gender either, so I don't really know uh, what role that has. Like, I think that she, um, you know, was raised in a certain, you know, she's of a certain age and was raised in a certain you know, time when uh, there was a lot more difference between uh, gender, like male and female, than there is now. And she does tend to gender things, like one really silly example is um, she got, at Christmas time, she gave my cousin, my female cousin, and my sister and I these like pink things, they're just these little things, they're kind of like stocking stuffer things, you know, and they're, um, they like come out and it's like a back scratcher, but then you like push it back together, it looks like a pen, but because they were pink, um, she only gave them to the girls, and she views me as a girl, um, and, uh, my male cousin was really jealous, and he was like, what the hell, I want to, you know, I want a back scratcher, what the hell, why didn't I get one, <laughs> and, um, she kind of like laughed, like, you know, oh, well, it's because it's pink, I'm not going to give you a pink one. And he was like, I don't care, I want one anyway. But I don't know, I don't think that that has anything to do with her religion. I think that she just sees, you know, she was raised in a gendered world, and um, she just sort of sees that stuff. I I really don't think it has to do with religion, because... She's very open-minded with other things, like, um, you know, with, you know, kids with piercings and tattoos, and, like, she's more cares about if they're a good person and they're, like, good people rather than, um, what they look like or, you know, anything like that, so, and she's totally cool with, you know, gay people and everything, so, I don't know, um, 
exactly how she feels about gender, but I don't think that it would have an effect, like religion um, in and of itself. And other than that, I mean, people in my life are not really religious. Like, there's, I have a lot of people in my family who are spiritual, um, but it's not, that doesn't have an effect, you know, like they're kind of the new age type of, you know, yoga people, <laughs> and like, they, nobody cares about gender in that kind of spiritual way, or they don't seem to, at least, um, yeah. So, yeah, um, bonus question, hold on, uh, do you like animals, what's your idea of a good pet? So yes, I do like animals, I love animals, and my idea of a good pet is one that you can interact with, um, I don't like reptiles, I don't like, like, mice and stuff, like, I think if, I don't know, if I have an animal, not ones that you can interact with, my idea of a good pet is an animal that you can actually have a relationship with, because, um, you know, cleaning up and, like, caring for an animal that doesn't, you know, even know you exist or doesn't care if you exist or not, it just seems like a lot to do for you know, yeah, so, uh, my idea of a good pet, like, I, I don't like reptiles, I don't understand people who keep, like, you know, poisonous snakes, or I was watching this thing on TV the other day where the guy, this guy had, like, um, uh, I don't know, big lizards and stuff, and they, like, ate him, like, they bit him, and then he died, and they ate him, and it's creepy, like, I, I don't understand why people have um, dangerous animals as pets, um, but yeah, I have my dog, yeah, he's cute, <laughs> so yeah, anyway, that's it, and I will hopefully see you guys next week, um, yeah, bye.